Attention, and now, this is the week four, five, and six video for the intermediate class. So let's just start with front kicks right away. So attention and bow, kicking stand slab, yep. Let's get warmed up a little bit. So where I say one, you gotta balance on one leg. Two means kick, three means bring it down. Remember when you do your kick that you've gotta curl your toes up and out of the way so you can hit with the ball of the foot. So ready? One, bring it up, two kick, three, bring it down. One, bring it up, two kick, three, bring it down. One, bring it up, two kick, three, bring it down. Out of order, one, two, two, Three, one, two, 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 three, one, two, two, three, one, two, 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 three. Jumps with your legs. Ready? One, balance, balance, balance. Three. Oh, that's too easy. Okay, one, two, 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 three, one, two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. Something like that. Three. Okay, awesome. Jump switch your legs. Let's do the whole thing on the count with a yell. Just warm it up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Jump switch your legs. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, attention, and bow. So we have two kicks. One is called jumping front snap kick. The other one is called rear leg push heel kick. So let's start with jumping front snap kick as seen on Karate Kid Part 1 from 1984. So it's the one that looks kind of like this. Well, we don't do it exactly like that, but that is the kick. So attention and bow. Kicking scene slowly up. Your rear knee comes up in the air to balance. Then you're going to switch and then kick with your opposite leg. Or if I'm standing sideways, rear leg comes up to balance, and then jump and kick. Now, when you get really good at it, it just becomes one motion where you just do the whole thing. So let's do a couple slow ones. So show me balance, show me switch and kick. Show me balance, show me switch and kick. On my count, ready? One, two, three. And five, jump switch your leg, same thing on this side. Rear leg comes up to balance, and then switch, and kick, try it again. Rear leg comes up to balance, switch, and kick. Put it all together, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Now pause the video, do 10 with each leg, and then after I come to the, to the next kick. Now if you're an adult and you don't think jumping is the right thing for your knees, the alternative, by the way, would be skipping front kick, and that's almost the same thing, kind of like the ground version of it, that would be totally fine too. Now the last kick is called rear leg push heel kick. I would actually say this is more like side kick. It's kind of like the motion of a stomp with the heel, that's kind of what your leg's gonna do, except it's gonna go forward. So my knee is gonna come up to my chest, and I push forward. You can imagine like you're trying to uh, break down a door or something. So my knee comes up to my chest, pushes in. This one works best against a target. So if you do have a wave bag, or if mom or dad have some kind of a target they can hold on to, uh, don't, don't practice on doors, that seems like a bad idea. But if you have a target, it's best. So, so the rear leg, the one that's in the back, that knee comes up to your chest. You know, push forward literally like you're breaking down a door. Okay, ready, set, and one. Two. Three. Here's what it looks like sideways. Four. Five. Switch legs, same thing with the other leg. Ready, one. Pushing through, two. Bottom of your foot, the heel should be hitting the target. Ready? Three, four, and five. Awesome. Pause the video. Do 10 with each leg until you get really good at it. Now, we've been working on the hand strike set, so we're working on the last three techniques. So, attention and bow. Horse riding stands loud. Yep. So, we already learned the knife hand. 
the reverse knife hand and the palm strike. The next one is the back fist. So back fist, traditional back fist means bend your elbow so it points at the target and then strike. You'll hit with the first two knuckles, but sideways, like you're hitting someone in the temple. Pow, kind of like that. So my elbow uh, points at the target. You go straight ahead. Kind of looks like a thumbs up fist, like karate is really good. Kind of just like that. Ready? One, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo. Try the other hand, same thing. Point your elbow at the target. So you're gonna straighten out like you're hitting someone in the temple. First two knuckles going sideways. Ready? One, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo. Or if we wanna do the hard one, we're gonna alternate. So you'll reach across, and then both hands will move together as you strike. Ready? One, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo. Pause the video. 10 with each arm, or if you want to try alternating, 10 alternating back fists. Next one after that is called ridge hand. Ridge hand is kind of unique. It's, a, it's almost like a knife hand position, except your thumb is completely out of the way. If your thumb is sticking out at all, like on a knife hand, your thumb is like this, just supporting all the bones. On a ridge hand, the thumb's completely out of the way, so this part of your hand is completely flat. This knuckle right here is sometimes called the ridge hand knuckle. Imagine that knuckle is gonna hit someone in the temple, maybe the throat. That's what they did a long time ago, maybe possibly up to the groin. Like if someone had me in a headlock, they're holding me here, I could do a ridge hand up in the groin, maybe. Anyway, my hand will start in position, palm facing up, it will go all the way forward. At the last moment, it's gonna turn over and come slightly to the center. Now it doesn't do a big circle because that would be easy to block but it shoots in and then boom, turns over last moment. To me, it almost feels like how you do a karate punch, except that it's obviously a little different hand position and this part is what's striking at the end. So ready? One, ayo, ridge hand, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo, other hand, fingers tight, thumb, completely out of the way, focus on that ridge hand knuckle, palm starts up, Last moment, turns over and slightly to the center. So you can hit with the ridge hand knuckle. Ready, set, one, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo. Alternating hands, if you want to do the hard one, you'll switch hands every single time. The hard part is the hand at your hip is supposed to be a fist. Try not to have two ridge hands. Okay, ready, set, one, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo. Pause the video, do 10 with each side, or if you want to do the alternating ones, do at least 10 alternating really good. Last technique is called spear hand. Spear hand we don't use too commonly. Maybe it could have been done sometimes to the eye. Uh, we don't use it a whole lot. Um, from the side, you'll look, look at it this way. Fingers tight, thumbs tight, almost like a knife hand position. Palm up and go straight forward. You can see at the last moment I'm hitting with my fingertips. That's why usually it's only to a target, like maybe the eyes, maybe the throat. We don't really use them all that much but anymore, but that's what they did a long time ago. So it starts here, shoot straight ahead. Ready, set, one, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo, other hand, ready, one, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo, we're alternating, ready, one, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, ayo. Notice the hand at the hip is a fist. So I don't have two spear hands, but this one's a fist, this one's a spear hand. So even though we don't use this one all that often any longer, it would still be a lot of mental focus, mental concentration. So pause the video, do 10 with each arm, or 10 alternating if you wanna go for the hard one. Okay, last thing is uh, karate punches to finish up. Ready, set, one, ayo, two, ayo, three, ayo, four, ayo, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, attention, and back.